Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about 5 of the worst diet recommendations. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Weight loss is a challenging and time-taking process, but what makes it more terrible is poor eating options and choices. There are plenty of diets that promise satisfying weight loss results in a while. For that, you may have to consider extreme dietary shifts or may have to cut down a special food group such as carbs and fat to an extraordinary level, which may not be simple. In fact, only a few diets that guarantee weight loss give results. Rest deprives you of necessary nutrients and makes you regain all the lost weight after a while. In some cases, they may even enhance the risk of growing chronic diseases. In today's video, we are going to be sharing with you the 5 worst diets that you should stay away from when trying to shed kilos. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Over the years there have been many diet trends that get popular regardless of the lack of scientific proof. Let's be honest, any diet can be practical if short-term weight loss is what you are looking for. However, researches show that when it comes to long-term weight maintenance to keep the weight off, these diets aren't sustainable so people are more likely to gain the weight back. Here are the top 5 of the worst diet tips. Bad diet recommendation number 1. You must not pass 1200 calories per day to lose weight. Basically what this is suggesting is that all calories are made equal so no matter what food you eat in a day, so as long as it comes in under 1200 calories you will lose weight. Two things could happen if you restrict yourself to 1200 calories. You lose weight because you are drastically decreasing your calorie intake. However, you won't continue to lose weight if you're not preparing the balance of nutrients your body needs to work optimally. If all you eat is bread and chocolate to get to your 1200 calorie boundary then you will be missing out on essential nutrition and finally, your body won't remain to lose weight or sustain optimal weight. Your body determines you are starving because, in your particular case, 1200 calories are deficient to keep all your body's functions, so it will start to hold on to whatever energy you have to survive, hence weight loss will not occur. A diet of 1200 calories may assist in weight loss for some people for whom that amount of energy is sufficient. However, this diet must be nutritionally balanced for macro and micronutrients for long-term results. You must look at where your calories are coming from, rather than just how many you are having. Bad diet recommendation number 2. Stick to a low-fat diet to lose fat. Thankfully, we now know that although there was a shift towards a low-fat diet previously, more recent investigations have confirmed that there is no notable proof confirming that saturated fat is associated with an increased risk of heart disease. The reason it took so long for this research to come out was that the sugar industry did its best to hide evidence that sugar is, in fact, the culprit when it comes to heart disease risk. We should always try to eat foods that have gone through the least amount of processing and, unfortunately, low-fat options go through additional processing to make them low-fat. This often involves adding sugar or other additives to replace the flavor and mouthfeel of the fat. You typically lose many of the essential nutrients during this processing. So our advice is, ignore any label that says low fat and always look for full fat products for maximum nutrition. Bad diet recommendation number three, cut carbs at all. This is an exciting one because technically most people have 28 low-carb meal plans. However, low-carb isn't low. It should be regarded as the norm. Our portions have become distorted over the last 30 years, with many people now eating huge big bowls of pasta or risotto and thinking this is normal. It isn't. 
Cutting carbs absolutely can send your body into ketosis. Ketosis is when your body is burning fat as your energy source, and ketones are released into your bloodstream in the process. Continual fat burning might sound fabulous, but there are three big disadvantages to the low-carb, or keto diets. You should eat no carbohydrates to remain in ketosis. You're restricting your fiber sources and fiber is essential for gut health. If you persist at a high level of ketosis, as can be measured by the level of ketones in your urine, you might convey your body signals that it is in starvation so, finally, it might do the opposite of what you want and begin holding on to any excess weight. We want you to have the health advantages of all kinds of quality nutrients and fibers, including carbs, but without overdoing it, so you don't store excess energy as body fat. Bad diet recommendation number four. You need to juice to detox. Juicing can be a healthful addition to one's diet but when it comes to detoxing, our body needs much more than what juice can give to rid of toxins successfully. Juicing is basically like collecting the nutrients in foods into a liquid and you also get some enzymes in there if you use it straight away. However, what it doesn't give you is fiber and protein which are two primary ingredients for the body's detoxification. If detoxing is your purpose then your best bet is to stick to a very clean whole food diet to get the fiber and protein that you need, and that can combine juices as snacks if you wish. Bad diet recommendation number 5. Skip a meal. This can be a popular one when weight loss is the central purpose however doing this can have a contrary impact to what you want. Skipping a whole meal will drastically decrease the number of calories you are eating and this can lead your body to conceive you are starving, and it will then start to change on processes that mean you hold on to whatever energy you have to survive, one of the main ones being a signal to your thyroid to slow metabolism, and hence weight loss will not occur. Skipping a meal can often mean that you overcompensate later in the day. You may have skipped a meal, and calories, at lunchtime but that is useless if you then end up having double the portion size at dinner or going for a processed food option for quick satisfaction. All of these common, quick fix solutions never work for the long term. They're conditional, they're not delightful and they're simply not sustainable. If you want to lose weight do not seek quick results and easy ways, choose a reasonable approach by a professional diet advisor and increase your daily activity to keep your metabolism high. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.